that I say that a lot. You know why? Because I'm trying to get you to act like a king. Come on now. Revelation 19.11 speaks of Jesus, right? And what does Jesus do in Revelation 19.11? It says he judges and it makes war, right? What does judges mean? It means he makes a decision. Kings make decisions. We're supposed to make decisions, right? Whenever you make a decision, you're acting like a king. What do you make war over? You make war over the boundaries you've been given to protect within the realm of your jurisdiction. That's why Jesus begins the ministry saying, repent for the of heaven is at well, the question is, what's in your hand? Okay? I submit to you, the lawlessness that our civil government has been exercising today at all levels has presented an opportunity for the remnant church to arise. Yeah. Next slide. Now, what unified the tribes? Exodus 34. Three times, three times a year, all the males are supposed to come together. So worship unites us. We have times where they would come together for temple worship, for the synagogue, and they would come together to worship together. This is a time of corporate worship. But those are events. But then there's what goes on day in and day out. What else brought the tribes together? War. I was in Desert Storm. Army, how many people are here, veterans, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines? Do we get along? No. <laughs> no. Only during warfare. Only during warfare. It was amazing because when I got over there, when they began shooting at us, we got along remarkably better. Than <laughs> <laughs> and then I, this is no joke. I was on an Admiral staff, and we had a um, we had members from every service combined with other multinational services. And I'm, I'm telling you, the moment the shooting war stopped, within 24 hours, everyone went back to pre-war attitudes, looking to guard what's mine and get what's mine, all that kind of stuff. But when they began shooting at us, again, I submit to you, what brought unity? Common threat. Common objective? Common threat. We have a common purpose. Amos 9 11, Acts 15 60. What does it say? In the latter days, God's going to restore what? David's fallen tabernacle, right? What's, what was it? What was the fallen tabernacle all about? That's the place where continual prayer, praise, and worship went on. Lamentations chapter 5, verse 14 and 18 says this The elders quit gathering in the gates. Why? Because Zion was desolate. Because there was no continual prayer, praise, and worship, the elders quit gathering in the gates. Mm. We know from the pattern in Scripture from the Old Testament, who gathered in the gates? Kings and elders. Judges. That's where the decisions were made. What did they do in the gates? They came to the gates for decisions. That's where the government was. Okay? Isaiah 56, 7 says what? My house shall be... Yeah, you know what? If you go and read on that scripture, it talks about in Zion. If you go on Isaiah 2, 2, Mike 4, uh, 1 through 2, uh, it talks about uh, that uh, the mountain of the Lord's house will be established where? Over the mountains. It says in uh, Matthew 24, 14, Jesus says, This gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the nations. And then and they'll come. So, are these common purposes God's given us? Are we called the house of prayer? Yeah. So one of the things I've discovered with the strategy God gave us to pioneer, and to understand the strategy he has had us pioneer, it's not my strategy. It's my father's strategy that was first modeled by King David. All we're doing is following a modern application of an ancient plan. Yeah. 
Every reformer, every reformer in Scripture followed David's pattern. For example, Ezra and Nehemiah, they were simply trying to do what David did. That's it. And all we're trying to do today is we want to follow the pattern that was modeled by David because Jesus is also called who? The son of who? David. Because he was a, 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 a first reader, a one that was pointing to the kingdom. Ephesians uh, 3.10 says, uh, Jesus chose, the Lord chose through the church to show what? The manifold wisdom of God to preach powers and powers in heavenly places. Is that true? What's, what, what makes it manifold? And I would submit to you, it's the multifaceted wisdom of God. It's when each one of you becomes reflecting the part of the glory that God's given you. And as we come together, that's what's so critical, we come together. Now, I want to share with you a niggly, an irritation that I have. Is that okay? Yeah. How many know what the word metron means, measure? In the Greek, there's a word measure, called the Greek word metron. You know, that refers to the measure of our rule, our jurisdiction. I get irritated sometimes with Bible translations. Because it's like, you guys could use a much better way to communicate so I understood what that word was. Um, check this out. Ephesians 4.16, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by which every joint supplies according to the effective working would. How many of you can quote that that fast? You just, you just know it. When every part does their share, it caused the body to edify itself in love. But it says this, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, caused the growth of the body for edifying itself in love. Did anybody hear the word metron in there? No, you didn't. I looked it up in Strong's. Strong says the word is translated measure every time. I said, really? It's like, wow, look at this. It actually did a really good job in the King James Version because there's the word measure there. That word, the word translated here in the New King James, it says which. I looked it up in a bunch of other versions, versions of the scripture, and it's like virtually no one used measure. See, here's the deal. What that's saying is when every part does their gift, or does their function within the metron, the measure of the jurisdiction of the authority that you have. Yeah. Amen. That's when the body edifies itself. Yeah. Look, yeah. And so the point is, there is a measure of rule. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is what? Mm -hmm. At hand. 